Hey, what's going on guys? I am back with Dell this time, and we are going to be making a video on what you guys should bring to an Airsoft War. So, let's go ahead and start off um, with the most important thing that you should always bring to a war. Which, it's kind of a stupid if you don't. Um, a gun, of course. You always need a gun in a war, because um, it's an Airsoft, and you shoot guns and stuff. So, I got the gun. Must need... It could be a pistol or anything, really. Just as long as you got a gun. So that was the next thing. Uh, if you have extra money or anything, I'd recommend getting an extra mag because one mag will not make you through a bore. It doesn't matter if you're using a pistol or AEG. You normally use more than one mag. And this is just a 850 round mag, and it's a high cap. So there's a bunch of mags out there. You can get high caps, low caps, anything that you really want that fits you or your gun. If it's glass blowback, you're probably going to have a 30 round mag. So, um, Next is probably a must need also. If you go to a war that uh, that's out of town or anything, even if it's in town at a local woods or in your backyard even. Or just wear them everywhere that you go. If you even touch an airsoft gun, just wear them. Right. And uh, these are just simple, uh, just uh, like kind of like ski goggles, but they have like a suction instead of a foam. And those are just simple glasses. If you wear simple glasses, you're going to be fine. But if you get shot in the face, uh, go ahead and bring it up. The, I would recommend this. I would stress it to tell everybody to wear one of these because it does not feel good if you get shot in the face. I got sprayed down in the face by like five bullets and I it looked like I had pimples all over my face. It sucked and they're like bleeding and everything. So I would recommend this to everybody. Um, even you can get like a, a paintball mask that has a full face deal type thing. But you can normally just wear it like that if need be. That's good. And uh, if you want, you guys can get a helmet. Uh, we didn't bring ours out today just because of time and Yeah, stuff just like in that. case, like, you hit your head on something like a branch or something. Um, also, good mount for GoPro. So. Um, next for your gun is tools. And here we just have, like, simple Allen wrenches. Like, uh, you can. You can bring Torx, and they fit uh, Allen keys as well. And Torx is just like a T8, a T12, or anything like that. So pretty much if your gun breaks down, something happens with your gun, you can always fix it if need be on the field. Um, so yeah. Next. Um, also, this is optional. You don't really need it. It, it adds to the coolness factor also. And uh, if you're doing a night war you will be required to have it because, uh, quit that. <laughs> uh, if you're doing a night war, it is required so other people can see you and you can see other people. Also, just for, like, dark spots and say you're in, uh, indoors, there's some dark spots, maybe someone's hiding there, you can always shine in and maybe, like, a strobe light. This thing has, like, a little bit of strobe you can hit. Just to blind people and it helps you some sort of way. Alright, so next, uh, probably probably the second most important thing, um, probably would have guessed the BBs. You I mean what are you gonna shoot out of a gun if you don't have BBs? So these are point twenty grams, probably really good good for my gun. Um, shoots far, heavy, they work perfect. Next, probably another optional thing, um, a backpack. Just to hold your extra BBs, um, anything that you really want to. Also, water. You can put some few waters in there to stay hydrated so you guys don't get dehydrated and pass out or something because that would be really bad. And what else could you put in here? You can really put in anything that you want. Um, I really stress on water because I know a couple of games that I have uh, uh, went dehydrated and when I went home, I felt really sick and I passed out because I was dehydrated and uh, even if you have like a monster or something just drink just drink water be smart just drink water 
even if you can get buy a bladder, you know, guys, those things that strap on your back and like have a, like, a little straw or whatever the heck they're called. Yeah, you guys can go to a local sports shop or anything like that. It's called a Camelback, I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's... They're really good. I would yeah. suggest buying one. Also, something else that we also forgot. Or did you not? Did we got it? Okay, never mind. We got it. Um, you don't really need this. It's optional, but if you have an extra gun, like a pistol, it has a pistol holster on it. Just most of them do. Uh, it's Velcro, so you can take it off and put anything on it, really. And it has places for C CO2, which... This revolver just takes Just a bunch of too. more storage space that's easier to get um, access to than your backpack. Your backpack, you would have to stop, take it off you, and open it and stuff. And with the chest holster, you have it right on you, such as an extra mag or CO2 or your sidearm, which goes on this one. And uh, another good thing is a bone, because where we play, we're surrounded by a reservoir. And uh, some people, when they go up there, and we win the game, which my team always seems to win the game, uh, they can call them down instead of going all the way up the reservoir and getting them. And it also holds uh, like a all utility tool, which... I just carry around just in case, because why not? Because if you... Uh, that voice crack, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you put your tools in your backpack, which you most likely will, you're going to have to stop again and uh, get it out. These just have like a small pair of pliers in them, and they pliers work. are a great thing to have. Just That's pretty much it. So guys, um, if you guys think that we miss anything, please put that down in the comments. Um, I... We probably have a few more things, but also gloves. You guys can wear gloves. Get some hard knuckle gloves because it kills if you get shot in the hand. Anything else, Stella, you can think of? Uh, no, but... Uh, also, wait, I got one more thing. Something to cover your neck. Because getting shot in the neck does not feel good either. You can go watch um, a previous video. We'll show you how to wrap a... Smog. A smog, which just kind of goes around your neck and around your head. So guys, that is it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the Brotherhood. And my name is Assassiny365. That's Delbert. Delbert. And goodbye, guys. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Q outro. Holy shit! I didn't hit record. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to.